This is Gemara in Saita, Daf Chof, Zayin, and again an incredible day in Daf as we conclude the fourth parak of Meseches Saita. We pick it up on the last line on Chavav Amid Beis, in which we begin with a statement of Shmuel. Picking up on the topic of yesterday in which we are discussing women who unfortunately are acting inappropriately, incorrectly, in a promiscuous manner, says Shmuel, a general statement about marriage. Yisa Adam Daime. It's better a man should marry a Daime. Val Yisa Bas Daime. But don't marry a Bas Daime. Now, what is a Daime? What is a Bas Daime? So, of course, we quickly look at our wonderful Rabbi Rashi. And Rashi says, What's a Daime? It enes vnidaberes me be kol al ni ufel. Someone that everyone talks about, that she is a Zaina. Rashi points out, this comes from the word of Kulsa and Dibur. And so what we're discussing over here is a woman with a bad reputation that people unfortunately say that she was Mizana, that she acted in a promiscuous manner. So says Shmuel, it's better to marry her than Val Yisa. But do not marry a Bas Daime, a woman who her mother was one with such a situation. Why not, says Shmuel on the top line of Chavzayin Amenalf. Shezu, because this one, Ba mi tipa kishera, vizu ba mi tipa psula. Because this one, the woman who her herself is acting inappropriately, but she comes from a tipa kishera. She comes from good lineage. She comes from a seed from Zera, which is correct. Her parents don't have any issues. Whereas the Bas Daime, a woman who her mother acted inappropriately, she came from someone who was incorrect. And Rashi points out, so what's such a big deal? Rashi says, Kashema me akum, Amzer. Maybe this woman, they, everyone says that her mother is a Zaina. So maybe this woman is a born from a Gaita, or a, a guy, excuse me, or maybe she is a Mamzer. And therefore, says Shmuel, if one is a, or she herself has a Shmuel about her, then what we're saying is that it's better to marry her than to marry a woman who her parents, or her mother, I shall say, was inappropriate. Whereas if Yechanan argues and he says, he saw them bas time, it's better to marry a woman who she herself is Kishira, but her mother had issues. Val Yisa Daime, but don't marry a woman that she herself is inappropriate. Why? Shezuai Medaz Becheskis Kashros, because this one, it's true that her mother had issues. But she herself has a chazaka, has a presumption that she herself is kasher. As Rashi points out, that one who is born, Pacheskas Kashos, and is Mutaris Labayla, Palatiba Psula Loichai Shina, we're not worried, even though she's a Bas Daime, they did talk about her mother that she was a Zaina, still her status, the daughter, is kasher. Why? The Raiv Bila is Akharabal, because the general assumption in Halacha is that even a woman who is a Zaina, and we'll see how far this goes, we assume that the majority of the times that she slept was with her husband, Umi Baila Nizabra, and therefore we can assume that when she becomes pregnant from her husband. So it's true that she acted inappropriately, it's true that people say that she is a Zaina. However, however, the status of the daughter Bechazaka. The Cheskes Kashus, whereas Vizu, but this woman, Einai Aymedes Becheskes Kashus, a woman that she herself acts inappropriately. As Rashi points out, Shemizane Tachtov, a woman who is Mizane, the Nasra love becomes also to her husband. Voinai Roi Vroye, Veinai Megarsha, Uba Lab Isser. So we have a Machlaik as Shmuel and Rav Yechanan. What is more important? Is it more important for the lineage or is it more important for the woman herself? So Meisve asked Gemara and Ram Nachlin, says the Raisa Naisi Adam Daime, a woman, you should marry a Daime. So what do we see? We see from this Raisa that there's no issue marrying a woman that she, that people spoke about her, that maybe she was Mizane. 
And this is not like Rav Yechran. Rav Yechran said, you should not do that. Which really was the underlying, the underpinning question of everything we said today. It says Rav. Sounds like nice. You should do this. Really? You should do this? Oh, you want to choose a woman who potentially has issues? Again, I just want to parenthetically point out the top line in Taisvis. He quotes Rabbi Nechananel, Shemal Izin Allah, B'nei Adam, Shem Mezan. I like we're saying, people are talking about this woman that she's Mezan. So Allah, so rather, says Rava, Im Nasa. What do we have to explain? We have to explain that this price is not talking about the world of Lichat Chila. This Bryce is talking about if you married, okay. So says Ravot, Ninami, Bas Doime. So now you're going to have a cash on Rav Yechanan, because Rav Yechanan said it's better to marry a Bas Doime than to marry a woman that she herself is in, that people talk about her. Once you're changing to the Bryce, that it should reflect Im Nasa, if you did it, and not that it's talking about the Lichat Chila, says Rava also as well, Change the price that's talking about Abbas Taima. The Hilchasa comments the Gemara, Yisa Adam Bas Taima Val Yisa Taima. It's better one is able to marry a Bas Taima, a woman that maybe her mother had inappropriate situations. People spoke about her that she was Mizane, but if she herself has issues, you should not. Why not? Titani Rav Tachlifa. Ten lines on in from the top. Chavzayin and Medalla. First one line is Tachliva by Marava Kamid Rav Avua. Isha Mizane Boneho Ksherim. Why? She was Mizane. Why are her children kosher? Because, like we already pointed out, Roiv Eloys Acher Habal. Because the majority of the times that she is with a man is with her husband. So it's true. She was Mizane. It's a terrible situation. But the children still have a Cheskaz Kashrus. Continues the Gemara. Boi Rav Amra. So Ramam asks, how far does this go? Haisa Prusa Biyoiser. She was very, very parutz. And as Rashi points out over here, so what's the question? Maybe Maybe if a woman who's mamish a parot, she's mamish all around town. So maybe this woman loses her chazaka. Maybe the majority of time she's not with her husband. Mahu, what is the Allah? So says the Gemara, we can make this dependent upon a fundamental machlaikas that we'll learn at the end of Shas in Gemara and Nida. Ali, but the Manda Amar, according to the Manda Amar, that says, Ina Isha Misa Beres, Elosamach Levesta, that at one point is a woman the most fertile right before her period comes. Loyal to Bailacha, there would be no Shaila. Why not? Because a husband can't know when his wife is going to see her period. And therefore, the husband has no way to avoid it. And therefore, in such a situation, if she's mamish, a zaina, we have to be worried. Which is the way we usually pass in la'alacha, that ain't isha misaberes, which of course, in the world of science, works as well, that a woman ovulates, she's the most fertile, approximately 12 to 14 days, after her period, which is Samach Litzvilasai, the beautiful creation of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that on the Lel Tvila is the moment that a woman is the most prone to be able to have a child. So according to that, Manda Amar Mai, so now we have a Shailah. What's the Shailah? Kiv and the Adaba Niturim The husband knows, the husband knows that unfortunately his wife is up to no good. So whenever she goes to the mikvah for that day or two, he'll be able to be on guard and make sure she's not mezana. Oi, tell more do we say, Kivan de Prutza, once she's a prar, there's nothing we could do. Be'yaser, lai, says the Gemara, we're going to have to wait for Yo Navi for this one. We continue about 15 lines from the bottom, the two dots. Ve'ilu she'bezdin mekana no'isa. We continue with the list of the mission that Bezdin gives the warning. If the husband's a deaf mute, a shaita, in jail, etc. Tanara Abanan says the Gemara ish. It says in the Pasik, ish, ish, kisis de ishtai. A man whose wife, it becomes a saita, goes astray. Matama Laimer ish, ish, what is the ish twice, the rabbis? 
This comes to include Eishas Cheresh, Eishas Shaita, Eishas Shamum, a husband who's crazy, Vishalach Bailam Dinas Ayam, husband goes overseas, Vishaya Chavish, Eishas Surim, he's in jail. In all of these scenarios, if there's a suspicion that his wife is unfortunately acting inappropriately, Shabazdin, Mekanim Lohen, the Bezdin warns these women. For what reason does Bezdin warn them? Lip Haislan makes you basan. Bezdin is warming them to passel them that they're not going to get their ksuba. Says the Gemara, Yachalaf Lashkaisan. Maybe Bezdin, the warning, the kinoi of Bezdin is enough to even allow this woman to become a real saita, to drink the me saita, even while the husband is not bedas or not around. Says the Tanakama, Vehevi. It's only if the husband brings his wife, husband's bidas to bring his wife, that's when there's a din of Saita. Whereas if it all happens by Bezdin, then it would not. Says Rabbi Yaisi, no. Bezdin's kinoi, Bezdin's warning, even it could result in a situation that the wife will have to drink the main Saita. When? In the case of the husband's in jail, when he comes out, then she will have to have to drink. So, for Michael Mifliki, what is his machlekes tanikama and Rav Yaisi says the Gemara Rabbanon savri be'in on vekina vehevi. The Rabbanon hold that we learn the whole parsha together. That he that is vekina, he has to be the vehevi. Meaning, if the husband does the kinoi and then he brings his wife, then there's a situation of saita. Rav Yaisi savri no. Loi be'in on vekina vehevi, and therefore, even if Bezin does it, it could eventually result. In a situation that she'll have to drink, the Saita. Tanur Rabbanon continues the Gemara, seven lines from the bottom of Chavzayin Amad Aleph. Asher tiste isha tachas isha says the pasuk, a woman who goes astray while under tachas isha while married to her husband. From here we learn out lahakish ish leisha. We have a hekish. The fact the pasuk in Rashi over here on the first white lines points out this is a kriyasira. We don't really need this pasuk. And therefore, from the extra pasuk, we learn out that there's an equation, there's a connection, there's a hekish between ish and isha, and as well the isha le ish. Lamai helchasa amar rav sheishas for the following halacha. Kishem just like shem who saim eloy amashke, just like if the husband is blind, then his wife can never drink the meisaita. Why not? Tirsev says the pasuk vinelam meene isha says the pasuk that. There's going to be a situation of sight if it was hidden from the eyes of her husband. So therefore, it has to be a situation that the husband could see. Kachi, so to she, amaisa suma, she is blind, laisha shaisa, a blind woman and man are both excluded from the parsha. Ravashi Amar, no. Kishem shachigeres vigidemes laisha shaisa. Says Ravashi, you know what the hekish of ish, ish, ish laisha, excuse me, is key teaching us. And Ravashi says, in the Hekish of Isha le Ish, so meaning we just learned how the Ish to the Isha. Now we're learned. Now it goes backwards the other way. How do we know that in one way? I, say, I think it's said it backwards. We just learned how the Isha, the woman, is compared to the man. That just like if the man is blind, there's no sight. If the woman is blind, there's no sight. Now we continue and we say the flip. Says Ravashi, what way is the Ish compared to the Isha? That just like if she is blind or if she does not have hands, ain't lois a shaita. Shaisa, she doesn't drink. Why does she not drink? Because the Pasik says, as we turn over to Chav Zayin Amid Beis, says the Pasik, and the Kayin has to stand the woman. This is when she comes to does the procedure of the Saita. Says the Pasik, the Kayin stands the woman of Neashem, and he puts on her hands, and he puts on her hands the Minchas Saita. So we learn out that she has to be able to A, stand. As Rashi points out, she's not lame. And he places on her hands and not one who's lacking hands. So to the husband, the husband is there would be no drinking. And continues the Gemara, closing out the Perek, a similar halacha. Kishem she'i lemes, lo'i Just like, says Mar Baravashi, 
If she is an Elaim, if she is a mute, she does not drink, why not? Tachsev says the Torah. Ve'amra ha'isha, amen, amen, she has to be able to talk, she has to be able to say, amen. Kachim ha'ya, Elaim, so too, if he is a mute, lo, ha'ya, she says, well, there'll be no day of Saita. Hadran Allah Russo, we should return, we should do a Chazara of this incredible fourth barrack of Saita. And with that, as always, we dive right away into the fifth barrack, which really is going to be a long and lengthy Mishnah. Says the Mishnah, Keshem Shamayim Baitkin Isa, just like the waters, the Me Saita checks her that if she was Mizane, she's going to meet her demise through the drinking of the water. So to the water, Baitkin Isai will check him. The Bayel, Shenemar, as the Pasik says, Ubau, Ubau. This says the Pasik Ubau two times. And Rashi over here points out what does it mean that the water is going to check him? We're going to have to wait for the Gemara for that one. Continues the Mishnah, Shem Shah Sura Lebal, just like she is also to her husband. And this is referring to before she drinks. Kachasura Labayel, she's also to the person that she was suspected to be having relations with, the one that she was secluded with. Shenemar says the Pasik Nitma of Nitma Divir Rabbi Akiva. Om Rav Yeshua, Kachay Yadayi Zacharya Ben Akatsov. Says Rav Yeshua, the following Zacharya Ben Akatsov with Darshin, that what? The extra Vav of Vinit Ma'a makes the woman usher to the Bayel. But Rabbi Oimer says, Rabbi, Rav Yudha Anasi, Shnei Pamma Murem Bibarsha. There are two times that Nit Ma'a is said in the Parsha. Nit Ma'a, Vinit Ma'a, Echlaba, Vechlaba. So we have a Machlaik as whether the Drasha is from the extra Vav. Or whether from the extra word nitma in the parsha continues the Mishnah. Boy by Yoim on that day. Tarash Rabbi Akiva. Now, what does it mean on that day? So Rashi reminds us of a Gemara and Brachais that we learned many, I don't want to say moons ago, but Baruch Hashem, it's been moons. Tcholecha Tatani, Boy by Yoim, who Yoim was what day? What was that day? The day Sheshiva of Lesbian Azari the Nasiyah Shin Israel Talmidim, Lesbian Azari is appointed, and there are many Talmidim. Why? Because at that moment they allowed everyone to enter to the base Medrash. Cause Rav Gamliel used to only let those Talmidim to enter. If you're not Talmidim, if you're inside, you're not like you're outside, you're not allowed to enter the base of Medrash. Rav Satayr, bye bye, yaim. But on the day that Rav Lezben Azariah was appointed, Rosh Yeshiva, the head of the Sanhedrin, I should say, on that day, there was an Nisraba Talmidin, and many Talmidin, and many Talmidin, and many Talmidin, and many they would explain every Allah. So on that fateful day, now back to the Mishnah, Darish Rav Yekiva, Ukli Cheresh, Ukli Cheresh, excuse me, Asha Yip al Mehem, Al El Taichai, Kol Hashem B'Saychai Yitma, and to Ukli Cheresh, to anything that falls into it, should be Tame and the post ends off. Yitma, the post ends off, you have to break the Kli. Enoy Oimer, the Pasik does not say Tame. It doesn't say it is Tame, but rather El Yitma, it should be Tame. What does that mean? What that means is Le Tame Achirim. So it means that not only is it itself Tame, but the Kali has the power to do what? To make something else Tame. Limeid al kikar sheni. This teaches us that a loaf that is a sheni latoma, the alocha is shemitame es a shlishi. For a loaf that is a sheni latoma, why? Because it was put inside a kli that was tame, it was a rishain. Again, I have a kli that's a rishain, the kikar, the loaf of bread goes inside of it. So therefore, the loaf contracts toma, becomes a sheni. What could that do? Shemitame es a shlishi. If it touches other food, that other food becomes a shlishi. That was Rabbi Akiva said in the faithful day of Allah's husband Azariah was appointed. So Amr of Yeshua says Rabbi Yeshua, Mili gale afar echa. Who's going to be the one that's going to literally reveal to remove the dirt from your eyes? Rabbi Yechran ben Zakai. Why? Shays Aimer, he would say, Asa David. Asa, excuse me, not David. Tar acher letayer. Kikar Shlishi, the future generations, they're going to make a Kikar Shlishi Tahar. She'en lo'i mikra minatayra shu tamei. Because there's no explicit pasuk that says it's tamei. V'halai, and now, Rav Akiva Talmidcha, Rav Akiva, you're Talmid. Maybe lo'i mikra minatayra, he's darshaning a pasuk, shu tamei, shenemar, 
Call Asher Beseich Yitma. So, of course, it's a bit random, but once we have one din of Nitma and Vin Nitma, the Mishnah quotes another din that it says, Yitma Natame, that the source that the Kikar Sheni has the ability to make a Kikar Shlishi. Continues the Mishnah, Bai Bai Yoyim, another Allah that happened on that day, Darsha Vikiva. Darsha Vikiva, Madaisa Michotz Lair, as far as Kain Mom, Alpayim Baama Vigoymer. Says the Apostle, you should measure outside of the city, Dinam of Tchom, 2,000 Amois. Umikra Acher Amar, and there's another Apostle that says, Mekir Hi'ir, from the wall of the city of Chutz and outside of Amma, 1,000 Amois, Saviv around it. So we have Shalom Aralef Amma, it can't be, that only means 1,000 Amma, Shkvar Namar Al Payim Amma. It already says 2,000 Amma. We have Shalom Aralef Payim Amma, Shkvar Namar. Elef Amos, we have two Psukim, which are a bit contradictory. Is it a thousand or two thousand Amos? Ha Kitzad, Elef Amo Migrash, a thousand Amos that are settled. Elef Amo Migrash, Valpayim Amo, and two thousand Amos that are what? Which is Tchum Shabbos. So one thousand Amos are the areas that are supposed to be open, you're not supposed to settle or outside of the city. Let's look at Rashi. Rashi says, what's a Migrash? Rachva penuya mizria umibatim umeilanois. This is the area outside of a city for a thousand amois you shall leave. Not planted, not, not uh, developed. Why? Lenoyo ear to the beauty of the city. Lios lalavir. Just an open air outside of the city. Valpayim. What's the two thousand amois? Now for the Nevi'im, Levi'im, excuse me, rather, what's it for? The din of Tachum Shabbos. Of Loz Benoi, Shavriyasi Agli Yomer, Elef Amma Migrash, Valpayim Amma Sadois Ukramim, says of Loz Benoi, Shavriyasi Agli, a different halacha, that the 2000 Amois is not a din for the, not a din for Tachum, but rather, this is the area that the Levi'im get for planting fields and vineyards. Boy, be Yom, a third halacha. Answered a shira for everything that Moshe said, like those that read the Alel Ashir Lashem Kigoi Ga Lekach Nemar Leimar. That it was a shira lamer saying that Klai Yisrael responded with a shira. Ramnachem Yomer Kikarin as a Shema, Veloi Kikarin as a Halel. They sing together with Moshe, and not like one does when he reads Halel. And Rashi points out again, we have to wait for the Gemara to, to understand this fine nuance. And finally, a fourth Allah, Abay Biyam Darshav Yishu Ben Horkinis, Loi Avad Iov as Hakadosh Baruch Hu Ela Me Avo Iov. Serve that Kaddish Baruch Hu out of love. Shenemar Heim Yekeluni Li says Eov Heim Yekeluni Loi Ayachel says Eov he's gonna smack me he's gonna cut me down I'm still gonna trust in him. But still it's even Ani Mitzape Oy Ani Mitzape Vadayin Davar Shalko Loi Ani Mitzape. We still don't know what is this pasuk referred to when Eov says, "I'm going to wait for him." Ayachel doesn't mean I will wait for him; that he's yearning, he's waiting for Hakadosh Baruch Hu, or the opposite, or I will not wait for him. Meaning, loy him yikaluni loy kamin to him, or loy kamin with an aleph. No, Talmud Leimar says the pasuk ad egva loy osir to masi mimeni. And from here we learn now, Melamech me ahava osa. From the fact the Apostlech says, Ad egva, ad egva, excuse me, until I'm going to perish, until I'm going to die, la so I will not remove from myself. We see that Eo was talking out of love. Omer of Yeshua, and with this we conclude, as this will conclude the Mishnah, me egala offer me necha. Says of Yeshua again, who's going to remove the dirt from your eyes? Yechon ben Zakai, she's a derish, koyo mecha, shlai avad Eo vesa makam al he said the opposite. Shnemar Yishtam Biyashav Yeri Elikim Vesar Meira Vali Yeshua Talmud Talmud Chalamad Shemeava Oisa. So we're gonna have to see what was going on with Eov. Was it Meava? Was it Meira? We'll pick it up from the Gemara in the next year. Bisiyata Dishmayu.